Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most amazing late night show on the planet. Get your blunts and snacks because it's high o'clock with your lovely host Stephanie Tang out of the YouTube in a comedy. Welcome to High O'Clock. I am your host, Stephanie Tejada. <laughs> That's Stephanie spelled with a PH, not an F like some of these dirty hoes. We need that PH balance, boo boo. Welcome to High O'Clock, my late night show with a twist. And by twist, I mean cannabis. Let's get into our first segment. This is real. This is real. Uh, a council in Australia appears to set an effective ban on cats from being outdoors of any government owned buildings. Like what the fuck? Have you ever met a cat, Australia? Have you ever met a cat, Australia? Because they don't give a fuck about what you want. They don't care. You think you're gonna give a cat some rules? You think you're just gonna, you think you're just gonna stop the cat from coming around? Like he's just gonna be like, meow, okay, sure. I didn't mean to bother you. That cat's gonna be like, meow, and just stare into your soul and not give a fuck and stay exactly where he wants to be. It's not like the cats are trying to go into your office and steal like, <laughs> You know what I mean? They're not trying to like go in the office and steal like super confidential paperwork or something. They're fucking cats. Get over it. This is real. Apparently, Kanye West wants to... <laughs> fucking Kanye, yo. You know what I mean? He's just a lunatic. He wants to put on a fashion show at Skid Row where the models are the homeless people. you just gonna get these homeless people who are deranged and most of them are mentally unstable to just be like yeah I'll walk in your fashion show what do you what do I gotta wear he's like nothing your outfits perfect that looks just like my Yeezy collection they don't even gotta wear nothing they just they're just gonna step out with their <laughs> fucked up clothes and everyone's gonna be like oh my god Let's charge three thousand dollars for that sweatsuit, and the home is gone. I'm shitting me. Like, I'm going to this fashion show. I will be there. <laughs> this I gotta see. <laughs> and then you got all the the fucking cancel culture. Like, Kanye's exploiting the homeless. Kanye's exploiting the homeless people. Cancel Kanye. Cancel Kanye. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. What are you doing for the homeless people? At least he's giving them a career, okay? Y'all ain't doing shit for the homeless. And this has been This Is Real. I can't believe it. Our next segment is one of our most popular segments. It's called Get the Fuck Out of Here. Get the fuck out of here, TikTokers claiming to be comedians because they're lip syncing other people's jokes. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Don't get me wrong. I like TikTok. But you ain't about to be here saying you a comedian when you've written nothing. What joke did you come up with? What punchline did you throw into that skit? The character, the accent, the concept. Is anything yours? You're not a comedian. You're a lip singer of jokes. You're a lip singer of jokes and funny videos. There is a difference. Somebody in a podcast interview tried to be like, so now that you're doing comedy, what, you're a TikToker? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Get the fuck out of here, podcast lady. There is a difference between a TikTok comedian and a real comedian. And it's this right here. Originality, baby. Brains. <coughs> Get the fuck out of here, TikTokers claiming to be comedians who aren't. <coughs> Sip some of this tea.
this weed is smoking, gotta clear my throat. It is, y'all, this Luke Skywalker OG fried. Get the fuck out of here, self-checkout. Oh, please put the item in the bagging area, bitch ass. There's an... Item not in the bagging area because it's finished. It's done. I have one thing. I don't need a bag. Please, how many bags would you like? I don't need a bag. Pick how many bags you want, bitch. Like, I don't need a fucking bag. Now they got them cameras. You see, you see the camera ones now? They got them in Target and Walmart. It's the camera right there. You just be looking. Stupid machine! You look at pissed off in the camera. You look like you're taking a shit. It's a POV of your shit face in the bagging area. How many bags do you want? I got my own bags. I know better. I've been in California for years. Did you know they charge for bags? Yeah. Go watch my first episode of High O'Clock to see the journey of what is living in California. <clears throat> Get the fuck out of here bag fees in California. <laughs> Fuck you. I just spent $800 on pork chops and rice and you have the audacity to tax me for some fucking bags. Get the fuck out of here, California bags. And this has been Get the Fuck Out of Here. And now it's time for hateration. This week's hateration is Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian posted this picture of her in a car and some people noticed she forgot to Photoshop her reflection. <laughs> Take notes. <laughs> if you're gonna Photoshop your photos and there's a mirror, make sure to Photoshop whatever the fuck is going on in the mirror too, okay? But everyone's giving her so much shit about it. Like, motherfuckers everywhere don't Photoshop their pictures. There are literally filters built in to all social media that is called, quote, no filter. Everyone is using the no filter filter. I don't give a fuck what you say. Every single person in here watching has used a filter. Whether it was the no filter filter, a filter, a filter fish, a filter is a filter. So why y'all giving Chloe so much shit, okay? She dropped the ball, she's embarrassed enough. Let Chloe live. And that has been Hateration. Our next segment is my favorite segment because I get the highest. It's called Hits Blunt. Hits Blunt. Why is it called a watch if I just look at it? Ain't nobody watching a watch. Like, nobody is like, yep, everything's going according to plan. <laughs> like, nobody's just fucking staring at their watch. Nobody is watching a watch. It's not a TV show. It's, it's like a long video. It's just, oh, okay, it's 12 o'clock. And it's done. That's it, you know? And this has been Hits Blunt. And now I like to close the show with a segment called Because I Got High, where I share your stories of ridiculous things you've done high. Because I got high. I got home, went to the bathroom. My mouth was very dry, so I wanted to brush my teeth. The moment I was placing toothpaste on my brush, I realized it's not toothpaste, it's face wash. So high. <laughs> I've done stuff like that. I've done shit like that. Terrible. You ever put that blunt or the your, whatever you're smoking like in the wrong side of your mouth? You just you just burn the fucking life out of your tongue. Done that. <laughs> and this has been because I got high. Make sure you guys send me your stories for next week's episode. And now it's time for our final segment. The final hit. Has there ever been a pizza delivery girl? I've worked. I've never seen it. I've never even seen a depiction of it. I worked 
in a pizzeria. It was one of my first jobs as a teenager. And the only thing I ever saw the girls doing was waitressing and doing the phones. I've never seen, it's like, oh, uh, the woman can't drive, they're too frail. How dare they deliver pizzas? <laughs> don't, let them out the, don't let them out your sight. And also, like, how the fuck did pizza drivers know how to find houses before GPS? You know what I'm saying? Like, that would they have to go on, like, a map? Did you have to take an actual map of the neighborhood and, like, be like a pirate? I don't even know how to read a map. My map on my GPS confuses me, and it has a GPS. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't have been a pizza delivery deliver a person at all without a GPS. It would, it, you would never get your food. Never. Y'all think delivering pizza is just an easy errand. It's not, okay? These guys were going through space and time to find your address, okay? Finding longitudes and latitudes to bring your fat, lazy ass some pizza. And this has been the final hit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been High O'Clock. I have been your amazing host, the new queen of comedy, Stephanie Tejada. Don't miss High O'Clock. If you want to see High O'Clock Monday through Friday, subscribe to my OnlyFans, onlyfans.com slash the new queen of comedy. And if you want even more of me and you want to support my brand and merchandise, visit stephanietejada.com and hit merch. You want to see me live, hit that events tab and check out my live comedy shows and upcoming events. Leave a tip if you laughed or if you did it, I'm broke and this shit costs money, period. Eminem is teaching on the Peloton. How do you think I'm doing? I want to thank y'all for your support, your love, your tips as always, and for the suggestions and submitting to my segments. I love you guys. God bless. Team say hi to...